Tifa or Aerith. These are the only two characters in the game that are going to be completely romanceable for Cloud. And this is all going to be important from the start of the game. So if you're watching this anywhere in your playthrough before chapter 12, this is important. So please pay attention so you don't make a mistake like I'm going to show you later on in the video that completely ruined everything for me. Now, right from the beginning of the game, you can already track your character's relationship status towards Cloud. On your PlayStation controller, all you have to do is press L1 when you're around your party and you'll see how they all feel about you. And there are multiple things that will bring the relationship up. We'll first be going over all the relationship questions in the game, and I'm not going to really spoil the exact dialogue except the answers that you should be giving. For Tifa, in chapter 2, you want to make sure to say the place I made that promise to you, which is going to take place in Calm. In chapter 4, upstairs in the inn at Junon, you want to say the only person from the village I remember is you. In chapter 6, you want to say a lot has happened since then, which is going to take place after a boss fight. In chapter 9, you're going to want to say gonna go with the pot roast which is going to take place in Gangaga. In chapter 10 you want to tell Tifa you did good. This is going to take place in the Cosmo Canyon region. In chapter 11 you're going to want to tell Tifa have I helped you get through it all which is going to take place when you're in Nibelheim. Now let's not ignore Aerith because she's just as important. In chapter 2 you want to respond by saying sure let's in Southeast Calm. In chapter 4 you want to say you shoved a flower at me inside of the inn in June. On. In chapter 6, you want to say they are just thoughts, which is also going to take place after the boss fight on the beach. Chapter 9, you're going to want to say they didn't seem to mind in Gangaga. In chapter 10, you want to select encourage her, which is going to take place in Cosmo Canyon. In chapter 11, you want to say sounds like something I do. These will be the best options to select for these characters as they will increase their affinity towards you. But if you're somewhere later on in the story and you may have messed up, don't worry, there are definitely other ways to do this. Another way to increase the affinity and relationship of the character is going to be also by doing side quests, also known as the odd jobs. The typical way for you to know if an odd job is going to increase the relationship of a character is by starting the side quest and seeing who is exactly next to you and taking on the side quest with you at that time. By the way, we're getting a lot closer to the mistake I'm going to make later in this video. Let's talk about Tifa's side quest. The first one is going to be a rare card lost. This one is going to be taking place in chapter 2 in Calm. Once you complete this, you'll see Tifa's affinity level up. Just like the next one, which is called Dreaming of a Blue Sky that takes place in chapter 4 in Junon on Condor Hill. There's also another one in Junon called Calling All Frogs. This is going to be a cute one where Cloud and Tifa are go both going to be frogs. That's it. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Bodybuilders in a Bind, chapter 7. This is by far my favorite one, just because we get to work out with Tifa in the gym. So doing this one, you'll get a lot of Tifa in your face. This is a fantastic one. The next one is My White Haired Angel that takes place in Chapter 11 in the Nibelheim Village Kitchen. I also wanted to mention these bonus side quests that give Tifa affinity towards you. These most likely show up after Chapter 12. And these quests are Gold Cup or Bust, which is a gold saucer chocobo race, and Sand and Circuses, which is another one where you have to help Leslie out from the previous game for something. Now, even though my love lies with Tifa, let's talk about Aerith, because she's very important to a lot of people. The first quest for Aerith is going to be Flowers from the Hill in Chapter 2 in the Grasslands because flowers are her thing. Next up is Stuck in a Rut that's going to take place in Chapter 4 in the Junon region at Gabe's Ranch. Followed up by that in Chapter 7, Rendezvous in Costa de Sol is the quest name, which is a mini date with Aerith, so it's pretty cool. Followed up by that is Chapter 9, The Spice of Life, which takes place in Gangaga Village. The next one is Absence of a Sign, that happens in chapter 10 in Cosmo Canyon. So these next two quests might not be available before the date. You can let me know if it is, but they are going to be Beneath Still Waters, which takes place in Junon in chapter 12, and the Woodland Vigil, which takes place in chapter 12 in Gangaga Village. These are all the quests that will raise your affinity with Aerith. Side quests are going to be very important for both Aerith and Tifa, as in my opinion, side quests have the most impact on character relationships and can completely shift them more than I think anything else in the game. For side 
checklist, you want to make sure to do everything correctly to get the perfect score. If you do it the right way, you'll end up getting a gold star above the character's side quest options. If you don't, like I messed up on an Aerith quest from Flowers from the Hill, you just get a check mark and you don't get the maximum amount of affinity gained from that side quest. Hope that makes sense. So you just have to open up your map and then go to quest and look at all of these within the grassland. If you want to jump to different regions, R1 will bring you to the next region. Now, just between you and me, I heard that if you hit that subscribe button, you can actually get more affinity for one of the characters of your choice. Seriously, you should definitely do it. Now, besides just synergy abilities, side quest, and relationship questions, something really important is actually going to be story beats. There's three spots in the game where this matters. For both Tifa and Aerith, you have to get a high score of over 100,000 likes during the Junon Parade. That works for both of them. Now, for Kosa de Sol in Chapter 6, when you're wearing a bathing suit, it's a very interesting mechanic that a lot of people wouldn't think think even exist in the game to build a relationship. So essentially, if Cloud is wearing no t-shirt, you want to take Tifa or Aerith and go with their more skin showing option. If Cloud is wearing the crashing wave outfit, you want to go with the girl that matches Cloud, so you'd pick the option where they're showing less skin. That's pretty much how the mechanic works. So whatever girl you don't care about Cloud dating, just make sure they're not matching Cloud's appearance. This even being a relationship thing threw me off completely. So don't make this mistake. If you're watching this before chapter 6, of course. I'm not going to spoil the story of what's going to happen here, but at this specific moment, you can see that there is a boss battle happening and you have to decide who you want to help. The left side or the right side. On the left side is going to be Aerith and Barret, and on the right side is going to be Tifa and Red. Depending on which side you pick is going to enhance the relationship. That's going to matter on whose relationship grows with you. I, of course, picked Tifa. But listen, Aerith was growing on me at this point of the story. Aerith also has a place in my heart. Synergy abilities are also another way of raising the relationship for certain characters. If you want to raise Tifa and Cloud's relationship status, you're going to want to go under Cloud's Folio and unlock Relentless Rush, Counter Fire, and Melee Blade. Under Tifa's, you're going to want to use Synchro Cyclone, Slip and Slide, and Leaping Strikes. If you want to do synergy abilities with Aerith, you're going to want to go for Cloud's Folio for Firework Blade, Melee Blade, and Counter Fire. And for Aerith, you want to go with Combat Savior, Bodyguard, and United Refocus. Now, it's important that when you are using them in battle, you pay attention for the yellow icon that shows that you haven't used it. So you want to make sure to at least use all these synergy abilities at least once. Of course, whatever girl you're focusing on to min-max out the relationship, don't use it on the other girl. I use all the synergy moves on every character in the game, which will lead to my big mistake that you'll see coming up. So this is the part where I need you to pay attention. If you're doing everything right, when you reach this point in Chapter 8, and Cloud is at this haunted hotel and he wakes up from his bed and opens the door, the person that you should see should be the girl that you have been rising up this entire time. In my case, Tifa had more friendship than most of my party members, and Tifa ended up showing up at my door. For those who have increased their relationship with Aerith, you'll get her showing up at your door in Chapter 8. Now, let's move on to the big mistake I made. Now, I'm a completionist kind of person and I literally did every single side quest in the game and somehow when I got to chapter 12 I really goofed before you actually get to go to sleep in chapter 12 you get a notification the game literally tells you make sure you have the affinity of the characters you need to be at the highest I didn't check I went to bed woke up opened the door after I heard a knock and red was at my door this was really a big mistake that was probably gonna ruin my gameplay for me so what I did was make a save beforehand then I reloaded it and went to another region I did some side quests that raised it for Tifa, went back to the entire cutscene, I got a knock on the door, and it was Tifa. So pretty much, you can rebound from mistakes you make in the game, so you should be safe if you follow through with everything in this guide. Now that you got the woman of your dreams, you should check out this video because there's more dreams here. Seriously, click on it.